Hey, what's up, parents? This is Coach Marcus with Versatility Sports, and today I'm going to give you guys three techniques that you can use to help increase your son's exposure just after the first four games of the season. All right, so strategy and technique number one is we have to build a list. We have to build a list of realistic schools that we feel that our son can play at, all right? Is he a Division I player, Division II, Division III, NAIA, or JUCO schools? All right, if we don't know or are confused about what level best fits his talent, um, then we can get him a what we call an in-depth three-star player evaluation. Um, basically, it assesses his skill set and tells you exactly uh, what level his talent best fits. All right, is he a D1 kid, D2, D3, uh, NAIA, or JUCO? That way, now we can build a list of about 20 schools uh, that we feel he can realistically play at and have an opportunity to um, qualify for um, in college. So once we get that list, what we want to do is go to each individual university's website. We want to get the position coach's email and also the recruiting coordinator's email. All right, so if your son plays wide receiver, all right, we want to get the receiver coach's email address. If he plays quarterback, quarterback coach's email address, linebacker, linebacker coach, so on and so forth. Also, we want to get the recruiting coordinator's email address. So uh, some universities you go to and you have the receiver coach just have an email, but the linebacker coach might also be the recruiting coordinator. All right, so we're going to have the recruiting coordinator's email, which is a linebacker coach, and the receiver's email, okay? We want both of those email addresses, all right? So once we have these uh, addresses, now, after the first four games of the season, what we can do is email the coaches, all right? Start building a relationship with the coaches, put them put your evaluation out there, put your first four games out there uh, so you can showcase your talent, all right? So that's technique number one. Technique number two is your son has to ball out, all right? First four games are the most important of his career when he's playing varsity football, all right? Because now a lot of college coaches, they start going out to recruit early in the season once their season starts they start to have bye weeks they start to go on recruiting trips start making visits to high schools um, coming to uh, football games um, and just overall searching for their their next class so you want to be a part of that recruiting visit when they come to the high school so what we need to do is make sure that we have every single highlight of your son um, on this first four games, okay? If he played offense, defense, special teams, it doesn't matter, okay? So if he's an offensive guy and he preferably wants to play offense in college, let's put all the offensive stuff first. Okay, then let's go defense and then let's go special teams if he, he if he plays everything, okay? So let's categorize it in your favor, all right? If you want to be a D lineman, but you play O-line and D-line, put the D-lineman stuff on there first and then O-line, all right? So um, that's basically technique number two. Your son needs to ball, all right? Technique number three, we need to continue to build the relationship and the rapport with the college coaches. So each week, um, we can shoot the uh, coach an email just to see how things are going, um, congratulate them on a win uh, for the weekend, the past weekend that they got, um, let them know about new highlights that um, your, your son has put up on his huddle account, things like that. We just wanna be able to build the rapport so, um, if something, if you say your son isn't getting recruited by them yet, and all of a sudden they had a player, you know, decommit uh, on their list or something like that, now your son is still there, and it, and they and they might turn to him as the next available player. Okay, so we want to continue to build the rapport throughout the season, and then also in the off season as well, especially hit them hard. Um, 
before signing day in February. Okay, so these three techniques will help get you and your son more exposure. All right, so I'm going to go over them again. Technique number one, build the list. Get the position coach's email address and also the recruiting coordinator's email address. Technique number two, your son has to ball out, all right, and put together a solid highlight film um, that's college structured. Make sure these um, uh, college coaches look at the film and keep their eye on the film. We don't want to just have any highlights just thrown together. Make sure it's really college structured um, so the coaches continue to watch the film, all right? Technique number three, continue to build the relationship and the rapport with the coaches throughout the season and into the off season until signing day, okay? I hope these techniques will help you. I hope you guys are doing well. If you haven't got an in-depth three-star player evaluation, make sure that you go to versatilitysports1.com, check out our uh, website, Sign up for a three-star player evaluation. It's really, really important in this day and age of recruiting, okay? Y'all take care. It's time to be the reason for your own success.